all right guys welcome back to the channel today I took this um, grill off of the uh, excursion the lifted excursion and I was going to buy a, a different upgraded newer model um, grill to put on there but I decided to go a little different route first um, and see if I can take these inserts out take this out and the two side ones out and give it a paint and paint it maybe white and I did try with one piece already and it comes out like so so it's not bad I mean I wanted to see what it looks like since I wanted to upgrade it anyway uh, I'll just go ahead and do this with the whole thing and see what it looks like I'll put it on there so first thing uh, obviously taking the uh, grill off uh, now I'm going to show you on the truck too. First you got these four holes up here that are with the uh, Phillips uh, screw being held by Phillips screw. Uh, that's on the top. And then in the bottom you're going to need a flathead screwdriver and you got these clips. These clips right here. And those ones you can just pry and the reason I have this out already because everybody online had it on there and they would show you what to do and it was really hard to you know to see uh, on camera so I took it off and it's actually it sits like so and you're supposed to pry the bottom piece up and pull not the top piece a lot of people uh, they confuse that and I actually confuse them too I thought it was the top piece but the top piece attached to the grill so you pry it up with a flathead screwdriver up the uh, bottom uh, piece and then you you know pull the grill out uh, this one uh, it is missing a couple of these which I can care less uh, just wanted to show you guys um, you know how to take it off Once the grill is out, taking out the insert, now this is where the, uh, the problem comes in. You have to be very careful. And those tabs right there, those are the problem. You cannot be quick about it. You have to be patient and take your time. And for that, you're going to need a very tiny flathead screwdriver and if you have one of these uh, plastic uh, trim priors these will be pretty good the 90 degree ones perfect and what you want to do actually uh, took some of the uh, ones off already what you're going to do is you're going to take the uh, the tiny flathead and you're going to put it right at the inside and the outside and at the same time you're going to be prying up with the 90 degree so be very careful because you will crack these if you're not careful so just like that you pry them and then you go up with them pry and up and you have one two three four five six on one side two, four, six, eight on the other side. And then you're also going to take off these inserts. And I've already taken this one off from this side. Not that hard. These ones, you wanna make sure that you take your time and do not do it fast. Take your time, be patient. Put the pry bar there. And little by little, you just loosen one side and the other side. One side and the other side. And I'm pretty sure it helps to, to bring this out a little bit. And mine was a little dusty, so oh, there you go. Just like that. So, there. 
And I believe I have one left on this side. So I'm gonna do that, show you guys. So again, put your 90 degree prior. Make sure you only get that piece and not the lip that's underneath it. So that. There it is. There it is. There you go. And you should have the uh, the insert out. Just like that. And I will go ahead and give this a wash. And uh, I'm actually thinking about covering the uh, the uh, fork sign also. I'm just gonna paint it white and uh, see how it comes out. So we'll go ahead and take out the side insert. The side insert's a little easier, I think. And it's just being held by these, uh, just a side uh, little tabs here. So you just try those out without breaking them. Be very careful. Again, these little, these little small screwdrivers, they help a lot. So very careful. There. And that's how easy it is. So we'll give these a quick wash and we'll give it a paint. back in there and we'll see how it looks. So I installed the, uh, the uh, grill back in, the inserts in there. Uh, I didn't go with the high gloss, obviously, because this thing is not high gloss, obviously. It's an old uh, truck, old color, a little bit faded, so I didn't want it to have that shine. But it did come out pretty good. Um, I'm going to do some before and after photos, take some uh, snapshots and see if I like this. Um, as it sits, if not, then I'll just take off the whole thing and get another one, get a new grill. But so far, I mean, it it looks pretty good to me. Something different. Uh, I hadn't seen anybody try this before, so uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, deleting this thing or just painting over it, I like it. 
I'm pretty sure later on I'm gonna do a video on uh, taking off the emblems on the side, the excursion emblems and the emblem from the back, and just kind of have it shaved and and clean looking. So yeah, and uh, that's how it looks now. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.